Next into the tank is a modern snack made from an ancient grain. Hello, sharks. My name is Dustin Finkel, and I'm the CEO and founder of Ancient and Grain. Oh, no. Not these guys again. <laughs> Stand back, sharks. I'll handle this. Wow. Oh, my okay, lord. Okay, player. <laughs> Gluten, not this time. Yeah. Allergens, get out of here. Oh, didn't go that far. Empty calories, ha! Nice try. GMOs, never! Woo. Wow. That's fantastic. I'm huh. sorry about that, Sharks. I've made it my life's mission to defeat bad guys like that, and I've done what I can, but I need your help. I'm here today asking for $350,000, and in exchange, I'm willing to offer 5% of Ooh. the strongest weapon we have, Kapop Ancient Grain Pop Chips powered by sorghum. Sorghum is an ancient grain unadulterated since the times of ancient Egypt. It remains in its original form, having never been altered in any way. It is loaded with whole grain fiber, protein, antioxidants, and minerals. All you need to make our delicious flavors, like our number one selling rosemary and garlic, our salt and vinegar, <laughs> vegan cheddar, <laughs> and olive oil and sea salt. We are vegan, non-GMO, gluten-free, and allergen-free, but we're not taste-free. Sharks, now with our powers combined, we can make Kapop a true snacking superhero. I will now pass out samples. Very good. Wow. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. So if you want to take one of those, we one have four these. flavors. Vegan cheddar. These two. I'll take these Salt two. and vinegar. Fantastic. Yeah. Mango, cheddar, and garlic. Fantastic. Mr. Wonderful, Thank how you. are you? Thank you. Barbara, how are you? I'm good, Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mark, are you? I'm good because mm. I'm a growing boy. Take to all of them. I got <laughs> cases after cases for you. No doubt. All we are is literally sorghum with no fillers. We air pop it, add cold pressed oil and seasoning, nothing else. So I can tell you a little bit about my background. I've spent 13 years in the food industry. Before that was investment banker Goldman Sachs. I went to General Mills where I launched the first nationwide gluten free product ever. I've worked on numerous brands, but this is my first startup. And I did this because I wanted authentically healthy snacks that delivered authentic nutrition. And that's what you're eating here I today. I want to tell you something. I've tried a lot of this GMO, no carb, blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. This is good. Thank very you good. very, very it's much. Good. Really good. Great product. Thank you so much, Rohan. It's going to be fun because it's one of the first times in Shark Tank history where we have an actual investment banker and a crazy valuation. <laughs> this is going to be great. Let's have some fun. This crazy. is a great you're valuation. You're in my wheelhouse, buddy. Explain why you're worth $7 million. So our sales were $150,000 as we just got going last year. This year, we're on pace to do about $1.2 million. Wow. The last Any three, profits? I'll come back to profits in a second. Uh, I don't like that answer. Well, $50,000 three months ago, 60, 70. We're on pace to do 70 plus this month. The reality in the food space, unfortunately, is it's really a gross margin game. So we are doing outstanding on a gross margin front. We're high 40s, low 50s on our gross margin. Is that after trade spend? That's after trade spend. Yeah. I have game changer type of investors. So I have the ex-head of Whole Foods Grocery. I have the founder of Boulder Brands. The founder of Pacific Foods. They're investors in my investors. company. Investors. Wow. One of the reasons that I've been so successful so far, we're a thousand doors, 100% selling rate, is they open the door. You put me in front of someone, I will sell them. How much have you put in personally and how much have you taken in investment? So I initially put in $50,000 to start. What about investors? So investors, my first pre-revenue round took on $943,000, including wow. my money. Wow, okay. that's a lot to take in. That's your first was, pre-revenue round. It was not expected. I was going out there, selling hard, hustling. It was the hardest thing I've ever done was pre-revenue raise. No, okay, so let's put that aside, because we, yep. you're a grinder, we know it, yep. you're smart, you've been there. Right. How much more have you taken in and how much of the company do you own right now? So I just started another round. Most of my first round people want to come back in, which is a great sign. That's good. We have some Forbes 400 people that are also interested in coming in on this round. At this point, I still have 100% because they're all convertible notes. Yeah, but that, you know yeah, what I'm saying, so right? after the first round, 67%. How much are you trying to raise in total? I, I'm trying to raise about a million dollars. Okay. What well, you're really here for is strictly cash. No, not at all. No. What else? Not at all. I have plenty of cash, actually, and I have plenty of interest from this round. i like to know what's at stake here for you if you don't get a deal. I believe what being here with partnering with you guys adds fuel to the fire that in no other way I can get from anybody else. This is an incredible opportunity. 
Sincerely, since the day this show came on air, if you ask my wife, my family, this has been literally my dream. I was standing back, getting ready for this, and, and mind blown that this was happening. <laughs> I mean, this has That's literally amazing. been my dream. I never had my own idea, and then I had a great idea, and I came here. What's the stop Pop Chips? Great brand name, well known. Say, hey, we're going to launch an ancient grain line. This is about perseverance and execution in the branding and food space. Every single brand I've ever worked on, I've had success on. I haven't had one failure to date. I'm going to do the same thing here. Dustin, I believe your real gift is you're one hell of a salesman. Thank you. And you look the part. You look like you're an ancient grain man, you know? OK. <laughs> so I like the whole imaging. Thank okay? you. But there's not a thing I feel I could do for this business. And I like to feel like I make a difference in anything I step into. So my congratulations, but I'm out. I'm very, very sorry to hear that. You were one of the sharks who I think could actually add a lot of value to my business. Dustin, let me jump in. Look. Yeah. You are a good salesperson, but you oversell. You didn't talk about what your challenges were going to be. It was like you were trying to pitch us why we need you. Right? You just sometimes you got to stop selling and say, look, here's where you can help me. Because that's where true confidence comes through. It seems like a great product, but for those reasons, I'm out. Appreciate the feedback. It's good You're feedback. Welcome. Thank you. I would hire you, by the way. I kind of disagree a little bit with my fellow sharks on the other end. Uh, I'll take you up on that if one If this day. thing doesn't pan out, just come to me. I'm telling you, I would put you in to run any one of my companies. So you know, obviously, I've, I'm in the snack business. It's not an easy business. So my problem is, you're very early. Margins are good, but this industry has crushing trade spend that will just jam your margins down. And as you scale up, you're going to have to manpower up, et cetera, et cetera. And while I like you, and I'll take you anywhere, I'm concerned the journey is too arduous. So unfortunately, I'm out. That's very sad to hear. I like the product. I am your market. The thing is, I kind of like jumping in where I know that I can really help people. And I think you've got a lot of people with you that can do that. So I'm sorry, I'm out. It's crushing. You've heard all the other sharks talk about the risk. I get all that. I don't have ancient grains in my portfolio right now. <laughs> so it's interesting. But there's risk and there's reward. Of course. All right? 5% I don't even get out of bed for. Because I know with certainty I have to participate in every round after that to keep this tiny position, regardless of what the valuation is. The only way I would do this is turn back time. I'd give you the 350. I want 17.5%. That's a 2 million valuation. Because otherwise, I'm just going to get diluted into oblivion because you're going to have to raise so much money. The bottom line value that we've talked about as a company for this round has been $5 million from a cap perspective. I don't want to screw you up on that, but when you say you have a shark and it's Mr. Wonderful, there's sharks and then there's ah, Mr. Wonderful. What about 500 for 10%? No. No. You know, you're stuck at that $5 million. I get it. I understand your problem. Our universes are not aligned. I'm a superhero, too, and we're flying around different <laughs> planets. I'm a superhero. <laughs> Mr. Wonderful. I'll tell you what, I'll arm wrestle you for my valuation, and we'll see who wins. I think oh, you'd win. Oh, go for it. Do it. It's going to be heartbreaking that, to walk out of here without something. We are miles something. apart, and there's no middle ground. Yeah. That's the problem. The lowest I think I can go from a valuation to be fair and equitable to everyone is $4 million. It's, I, I it's, I it's 100% more than what I'm willing to pay. Yep. Sometimes the valuation gap is too large. I'm a shark. You are. I do shark deals. So do I, except now, I guess. Dustin. And you will. <laughs> you know what? You will. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Tank YouTube channel and ring the notification bell to keep up with everything that's bubbling in the tank.